Caspa is the third most profitable coin to mine, but you would think it was the most profitable thing in the world because it feels like every week there's a new Caspa miner that costs $10,000. It's, it's crazy. Caspa mining puts out well over a million dollars a day, and at one point it was putting out over $2 million a day. That is a very profitable ecosystem. Caspa is a platform cryptocurrency that Although you would think it uses a blockchain, it uses an alternative form of technology to accomplish essentially the same thing, often referred to with Caspa as the block DAG. The point being though, is that it's supposed to be novel tech, or that's the way it's marketed. Uh, so it's supposed to have this big future and upside. The mining on, on Caspa has just absolutely exploded exponentially. And, and, and honestly, it's, it's weird. It's really weird. Because if you look at Caspa, Right, it's the third biggest cryptocurrency in rank by coin or uh, daily emissions, uh, mining pro daily mining profitability, and this has been consistent for a while. And you look at Dogecoin and Bitcoin, and there are more miners for more companies for Caspa than there are for Bitcoin. Okay, there's basically three main Bitcoin miners, about four Bitcoin miners out right now that are like top tier, right? We got Bitmain, we got What's Miner, uh, the Ordine uh, is new and looks promising. I haven't touched one. And Canon has a new model that's supposed to be pretty good. But that's pretty much it. There are a few others, but if you look around, those are the four that you're gonna find. We look at Caspa and I mean, it's crazy. Let's look at the most profitable mining rigs and this doesn't have every miner, but let's just look at this, right? We have the KS5 Pro which is K-Heavy Hash, which is Caspa, $90 a day, $86 a day, Caspa, $62 a day, Caspa, $48 a day, Caspa, BMKS Max, Caspa, 41 bucks, just put that video out, the KS3, 35 uh, a day, and it's not until we get to the L9, which hasn't really even come out yet, that we could earn $32 a day, but let's just skip that one, and we got Caspa again, we've got Caspa again, we have just the L9 with a different model. And then we have the AL box, which has quickly plummeted from $100 a day to $30 a day. So although this looks great as, at a glance, it's not as enticing for us first batch adopters of the AL box. And then we have Caspa yet again. There's no doubt about it. Caspa mining is very profitable. Recently I got the Ice River KS5L in. I was pretty excited, wasn't I, right? And you could go grab one right now from ASIC Marketplace. And this is before you punch in the best coupon code of all time, which of course is in the video description below. And trust me, this video is not to try to just get affiliate sales and show miners or whatever else. Okay, so this thing has an ETA of delivery of basically soon. Okay, and this is at $7,500 before the discounts. And let me break this down. Okay, so I'm making like 55 bucks a day, which means over a month. Right, I'll make about 1650 and then I'll spend about $240 on the electricity. So I'm pulling in about 1400 bucks a month. And then you may say, oh, hopefully at best, I'd get two months of mining profitability uh, before these cheaper versions of it came out. Because by the way, I was basically charged 9,800 for the KS5L. Uh, but so realistically after one month, my effective price for it because I absolutely have to account for the electricity bill that gets withdrawn in, in real time. I get a monthly statement from my electric company of 240 bucks, right? I still need to recoup another 8,400 to have a break-even price point. But you can pretty much get the KS5L delivered now, you know, within the next couple weeks at the most, for $7,000. I'm effectively down $1,400 for being a first batch buyer, assuming that these this new batch of KS5L miners are delivered when they're supposed to be. 
right? And this isn't really accounting for all the new other models flying off the shelves and being released and announced, right? Because the KS5L was sweet for a couple days and then the KS5M came out, which is a different Caspa model that is more expensive and more powerful and more efficient. Uh, we have the KS6, which has the funniest name in the world that has very similar specs to many other Caspa ASIC miners. All these miners are costing like 10 G's coming out out of nowhere. I mean, who the hell has ever heard of Dragon Ball Miner? Okay, uh, let me tell you, you haven't. No one heard of these. Who is this? Wh where have they come from and how can we trust them? And why am I such a madman? I keep freaking picking these up. There's so much money to be made with Casper Mining. That's why it's so crazy, it's so popular, it's so hot. But everyone, I don't wanna speak for everyone, but it should be obvious, is getting burnt out of all the different models. Right? It's just crazy. It's just every week, it's like we have a new Caspa miner. Let me just rattle off some miners off the top of my head for you, especially ones that I've gotten in here and reviewed on the Voscoin YouTube channel and deployed, obviously, in the Voscoin mining farm. The Ice River KS0, the Ice River KS0 Pro, the Ice River KS1. I don't know, you're gonna see a trend here. The Ice River KS2. My, my KS1 died, by the way. I just got a new power supply in to hopefully fix it. The Ice River KS3, which I never got, and the KS3L, which I never got, but I did get the Ice River KS3M. Uh, and there's also the, confusingly named, Bitmain Amp Miner KS3. Uh, we have now the Ice River KS5L. We also have the IBLink. BM KS Max. We have the little Gold Shell KA Box. We also just got in the Gold Shell KA Box Pro. In addition to all of these, right, I already talked about the Dragon Ball KS6, which is a funny way to one up these other uh, miners. Oh, I've got a, I've got a Bitmain KS5 on the way. Uh, there's also the KS5 Pro, <laughs> oh my gosh, and the KS0 Ultra recently released, announced. Oh, there was the special edition Ice River KS0 Pro that was teal, that was kind of cool. At least this one had a different color. There's the Wind Miner, which I never procured. Are you tired yet? I am. When we look at the network hash rate for Caspa, uh, I started mining Caspa with ASIC miners in April of 2023. And the network quickly went to about one uh, petahash a second. Now we're at 302 petahash. It's become 300 and two times more difficult to mine the same amount of coin. And I feel like I say this all the time here on the channel. I hope you subscribe so you can hear the same message every day. But <laughs> a lot of people seem to not know that Caspa has a, a very quick reduction in issuance schedule. Every year it effectively halves. Every month you mine about 8% less of the Caspa coins because it's systematically going down. If you look at their emission schedule, you can see it step down quite literally. Right A year ago, getting 415 coins, 2025, 36 coins a block. But what keeps us all coming back? Well, one, Caspa's up 12% in the last 24 hours. It's a top cryptocurrency when ranked by its coin market cap. It still has so many more cryptocurrency, major cryptocurrency exchanges that it could be listed on. It's only down 17% from its all-time high. It's up a casual 91,000% from its tracked all-time low on CoinGecko. It's not on Coinbase. It's not on Binance. It's interesting. There's a very clear trend here. Over the last year, Caspa has gone from trading between one to two cents to trading at 15 cents right now. It's up 900% in the last year. What other investments have done that? Of course, there are some others, but it's nothing short of impressive, whether you love it or hate it. But here's the deal though, like what, what am I really trying to say here? I'm burnt out from all of these different models. Like what's the point of buying the hot new model today if it's gonna be literally like 25% less within the next one to two weeks? I won't make, I won't mine that much coin in that period. I'd be better off just to wait. But how long do you wait? Until when? What, what is that buy point? I don't know. I, I, I wish I did. I walk a weird line of building the Voscoin mining farm and also focusing on Voscoin content creation here, uh, you know, largely on YouTube. 
And what that means is if I was building my farm, I'd rather have 20 of the same mining model. But because we make videos, I'm trying to get every different model in, review it, verify it, look at that real world mining profitability, check out the build quality. Is this thing everything it's supposed to be? Like for example, I can tell you that Ice River uh, miners are built like crap compared to Bitmain miners. Uh, so that is one of the reasons, and Bitmain knows this, that their miners carry a premium over the Ice River miners. What miner is more likely to be operating one year from now? It's, it's the Bitmain absolutely all day over the ice river miner i don't have specific hate uh, for the ice river miners this is just in my experience i use the t-swift overclock on my ks0 pro uh, and that has completely died i had a non overclocked ice river ks1 which has died i have a ks3m that was overclocked and a hash board has died but a lot of these miners will die regardless of the overclocks or not. So some people would say, well, well then why wouldn't you overclock it? Well, you may be speed running the death of your mining device there as well. There's so many different factors here at play. This isn't specifically about those things, but the point is we just have a high failure rate uh, and something just to keep in mind moving forward because these, these machines are nothing short, they're expensive. It's crazy. Uh, these miner prices do not match the market. Like, Crypto is doing all right overall. Alts have not ripped even close to what we hope they will in a, in a real, you know, crazy crypto bull run. Uh, but Casper in particular is outperforming many other cryptocurrencies, especially compared to its historical prices, but it's also a newer cryptocurrency there as well. Uh, the point here being, right, is we haven't had the alts run. Like that's, that's really what I'm trying to say. The altcoins have not ran. Uh, they have not reached crazy prices. Normally, in a crypto bar, when you'll see many of the even just half decent cryptocurrencies hit new all time highs, most mineable coins have not hit a new all time high since 2021. So, a lot of these altcoin miners are grossly priced, even on these coins that aren't doing all that great. Miners continue to get more powerful and more efficient, making older models less of exactly that, leading to the latest machines having the highest profitability. There's a lot of minor devices that are very expensive, but very profitable. To plug something into the wall in your house and start generating an additional $30 a day after you account for an electricity bill is absolutely crazy. But what if you paid 10 grand for that? That's a scary amount. At these prices, I don't know if I ever could have gotten into mining in the beginning. They're so expensive. It, it, it's just like, it, it's out of reach, it's unfeasible. Not everyone has just a cool 10G sitting there that they can throw at the latest Caspa ASIC mining rig and hope that it works out, only to find out that they could have gotten it 25% cheaper maybe over the next two weeks. But it's not always bad or negative, right? If Caspa goes like crazy and it goes straight up to a dollar, these mining machines will be earning unreal profits. These mining machines will be appreciating in value. These mining machines will be at ridiculous, mind-numbing prices to buy later on if that happens. Will that happen? I don't know. To be honest, probably not, but it could. And if one thing's for certain, it's that everything is always uncertain in crypto. And I know that was kind of cheesy, but that's the reality. Nothing else, I'm just like kind of frustrated. I'm just kind of, these, these companies, they, they don't give you any sort of heads up. They release things as, as soon as they can, and then they kind of mess around and deliver them when, they, when, when it works out for them. I, I mean, what happened overseas? Did someone just leak the Caspa ASIC miner chip design, and they're just sending it to every company? I mean, did, did, did someone have the engineering capabilities, but not the manufacturing capabilities, and they sold it to this company, and this company, and this company, and, oh, and those guys too. I know, I can tell you for my money. I mean, how do we have nearly like 10 manufacturers making essentially, you know, by the numbers, the efficiency, the same CASP ASIC mining rig? It's unheard of. We have not seen something like this in cryptocurrency ASIC mining in its history. It's weird. I'm kind of sick of it. So what am I going to do? Honestly, I'm going to slow down. Uh, as much as I want to have a review of every miner possible here on the Bosscoin YouTube channel, I, I got to slow down. I, I like it, it is not financially feasible for me to keep up with all these minor purchases. 
I am never going to financially recover from this. So I'm going to do the best I can to just continue trying to review every major model release. Uh, but it's absolutely eating into my expansion and infrastructure budget. It's slowing down my solar plans. And uh, it, it's stopping me from ever buying multiple units of anything. Because I need to get the insert you know, Caspa dash number here uh, from this manufacturer and then take the same name, but put a different manufacturer in front of it over here. I, I'm trying to grab that one. Uh, it's just, uh, I, this sounds, this video seems stupid in a way. Uh, but it, I feel like we need to talk about it. It's crazy. If you are sick of all this crazy minor model, uh, just bullshit, especially in the Caspa mining game, you are not alone. There are many people that feel that way, myself included. But what are you going to do? Even as they seem to flood the market with models, what tops the lists over and over and over? The Caspa ASIC miners going from nearly $100 a day again to you get a miner from October 2023 that's still pulling 20 bucks a day after you account for a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity rate. I'm telling you, this, this is just unprecedented. And Caspa pushing up in price is only going to just make everything more expensive. If you have existing machines, it's great increased mining profitability. If you're just sitting there hodling the coins, when retrospect, your mining profitability is going up. Nice. If you're mining something like uh, Bitcoin with Caspa miners through, you know, something like Nice Hash, then that's going to increase your, you know, daily mining profitability. Instead of getting 45 bucks of Bitcoin uh, over the last 24 hours, you know, you may get $50 of Bitcoin mining profitability with those miners over 24 hours. Obviously, just you know, rough numbers examples there. Look how much my KS3 just obliterates my KS3M all the time. Look at this guy right here, KS Pro OC dead. He's still hooked up, he's still online, but I can't get it to hash. So there we go, that's my uh, that's my two cents rants, whatever you want to call it on this. I'm Bosker on the Bosker YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe uh, because I make a lot of crazy videos. And if you want to get into mining or learn anything about it and you want to learn more to earn more with crypto, I am hoping to be your guy on that stuff. Uh, we've been very fixated on mining recently as I've been heavy on the mining expansion side of what Bosscoin does. Uh, but it's going to get back to more like how do we earn uh, with cryptocurrency, how do we deploy our capital? That's the real mission of Bosscoin. It has just been hard to do anything other than mining lately uh, with our build out in conjunction with the insane amount of minor releases. There have been more miners released in the, over the last year than the last like, uh, uh, take out that period, the last like three years combined. Truly crazy, especially altcoin miners that are you know, traditionally more risky and more expensive than say Bitcoin mining rigs. Let's close it out with 10 seconds of Tails, our CMO, who's a cutie over there. Hey Tails, you wanna get a treat? You wanna go get a treat? You wanna go get paid? We got another video in the books? Come on, let's go!